Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing a black and blue F Young carrying case for the PlayStation Portal. Now, this is great for gamers out there that's looking for a nice and sleek case, but still have a hard shell design. So if you're traveling on the go and you wanna keep your PlayStation Portal protected, then this case might be for you. I'ma also cover the pros and cons of this case compared to other cases out there on the market. Now, before I get into the video, be sure to smash that like button and comment below and tell me what games you're playing on the PS5 or PlayStation Portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get into it. If you wanna know what comes inside the box, then I got you. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this protective plastic. And as you guys can see, we're greeted with a really solid design case and it has plastic around it as well. So it seems like F Young really wants to keep this case protected until you get it, which is good. Now, before we take a look inside, you can see that the front says that this is a anti-scratch case, a shockproof case, and it's a hard shell. So this is definitely gonna come in handy if you're trying to protect the PlayStation Portal. Removing the cover is pretty simple. Just turn it around and pull back the latch and you're gonna release the case. Now, the first thing that I noticed is that this is a light and well-designed case. The hard shell sounds just like this, which is pretty solid and you get the same exact material on the backside. I'm a big fan of the blue stitching that's inside of the zipper and the handle. And I gotta say, this feels really nice in the hands. The grip is on point. I don't feel like I'ma drop the case or it's gonna break off in the future. You also get the same material on the zipper handles and it comes in all blue. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside the case. As you guys can see, all I have to do is grab the zipper's handle and easily open up the case. As you can see, we're greeted with an anti-moisture bag. On top of that, you have a warning card that's gonna state that this has a newly manufactured odor. This doesn't bother me, but they have to put this warning out there. Taking a look inside, you can see that we have a storage pouch where you can put a few cables and other few accessories. On top of that, you have some cutouts for the PlayStation Portal where it's gonna fit directly inside to keep everything snug and protected. On the top half, you have some cutouts for your analog sticks. These are for the people out there that don't wanna damage anything while they're on the go. These are gonna come in handy. Moving along, we're gonna do a storage test. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my PlayStation Portal and put this inside the case with no accessories. The only thing that I have on this portal is the thumbsticks. So we're gonna go ahead and place this here and we're gonna close down the top half. Now, before I zipped it up, I noticed that there was some clicking and that was the analog sticks. So if you have any covers on there, it's most likely gonna take up a little bit more room, but that still doesn't stop me from zipping up the case and protecting the portal on the go. If you own additional cases for the PlayStation Portal like me, then you might be wondering how this fits inside of the carrying case. This has a kickstand built inside of it, so this is probably gonna be the thickest case that you can ever find on the market. After the installation, we're gonna go ahead and put this inside of the F Young carrying case to see how this fits. And everything fits pretty decent, but when I try to close down the case, you can see that there isn't much room to work with. It still zips up, but you can feel that there is a little bit more pressure on the PlayStation Portal, so this might be a issue in the future. Now we're gonna see how much accessories fit inside of the case. I'm gonna get a microfiber cleaning cloth, a USB-C cable to charge up the portal, some Apple earbuds, and an anchor battery bank. Now I'm gonna get my PlayStation Portal with the kickstand case on there, and we're gonna see how this fits. From the looks of it, this is too bulky for this case. As you guys can see, if I try to close it down, there is no way that the portal is gonna fit inside of it without breaking. So I'm gonna remove the case to see if this fixed the problem. And as you guys can see, it still doesn't fit just because this battery bank is here. So if I remove that, but I keep the other accessories inside, everything fits and I can easily zip up this case and travel on the go. If you're not new to my channel, then you know that I like to have different cases for the PlayStation Portal depending on a certain scenario. So I have the Orsley, the Skull & Co, and Adobe case. Each one has their own unique design. If you take a look inside the Skull & Co case, we have its own dedicated pouch and Velcro to keep the PlayStation Portal in place. The Orsley case has its own unique design as well. At the top, you have your own zipper compartment, which is gonna hold all of your accessories when you're traveling on the go. And for my incognito gamers out there, the Adobe case is pretty solid because it looks like a briefcase. I love the interior design. And if we pull back the Velcro, we have some more storage at the bottom. With that being said, the Effion carrying case is a decent option if you're not looking for a bulky case, but you still wanna have some protection with your PlayStation Portal and not bring too many accessories with you while you travel on the go. 
And for the gamers out there that want to enhance the PlayStation Portal's analog sticks, then I highly recommend that you check out my video where I unbox and review the Skull & Co. thumb grips. I'll leave a link in the description and a card in the top right corner of this video. And before I get out of here, be sure to smash that like button and comment below and tell me what games you're playing on the PS5 or PlayStation Portal. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.